from 0FXB RT systems. So let's just say you want to remove your SD card, put it into the RT systems and look at all your memory channels, repeater list, ETC. Because normally you would just get an, a micro USB cable, plug it into the radio and it's going to work great. And that's all you need to do. And the micro USB cables are very inexpensive and it just plugs in uh, in the side here. But I was thinking, well, I just want to get everything onto an SD card and just play around with my SD card. So the problem was that everything was coming up blank and I'll tell you, I'll tell you what to do so that doesn't happen. So what you do, the S get the SD card back in your radio, like so, and then you would have formatted it and then save settings, ETC. But normally what you would do, you would go menu, set SD card, if you go right to the top, you would just go save settings and then you would save everything to this file. But that's not what we're doing. If we go back one, this time we're going to go import export. So what you can do here, if you go import, so we want export. So select export and now we can actually export one section at a time. So memory channels like so, click all and then you can do a new file. And when you do, it's very quick. Export, yes and it's going to export all your memory channels. Then go back with the VFO button. You could do then your call sign memories. I've done that. I'm not going to do, do the whole process, but again, just select yes, yes, and it, and it will save. Go back and same goes for repeater list, new file, and so on. So now, and even GPS memory, if I had one, yeah, it looks like we have got something in there. Then just um, turn off, you know, safe to be on the safe side. Turn off your, what you could do actually, go if you go back, go to unmount, there you are, unmount, like so, and then you can safely unmount. See, and now it's actually allowing you to take out the SD card, and the advice is always to turn it off, and um, just, there you go, it's just there. Push it, and I'll show you which way around it goes. It goes that way around. Right, okay, let's get it in the program. Right, we'll pop the SD card into the PC and this file's come up from my USB drive and there's all the files there all listed, even photographs, repeater lists, CSV files, everything's there. So everything we've saved on that SD card is here. So let's minimize that down. We'll start with a blank sheet here. So we'll close this down. Uh, we'll say no. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go file and we're going to go file, then new. And then we get this page here. And let's just start off at memories. So let's go file, import, like so, import. And then we're going to go to our PC and look for our drive, double click it, icon 52. And let's look for what we've captured. Start again, so go file, import, click this PC, the SD card is still in the adapter, USB, then icon 52 then go to csv and if you look now we can go one at a time gps memory there's our file i'm doing this the long way aren't i memory channels and there's our two files so let's select the top one and we're in the memory tab down here we'll go next 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 and finish and look there's all our memory channels now, the nice thing is that we can actually copy and paste these. We can go hop click down here, copy, right click, you can go control C or just copy. And if we want to paste them somewhere else, let's just say, we, I'm not sure we can do it here. Um, let's just paste them at the bottom here. And just click here, right click, and then we'll go control V or paste. And we can paste it. And don't forget, you can paste things between different uh, programs. So if you've got RT systems for all kinds of other radios, um, you know. Do you know, I'm not going to say you can go between Yesu to Icom because I actually haven't tested that, but that's definitely worth testing. Um, I'll test that in another video. Uh, but what I'm basically saying is that although if you look at the Icom 52 program, you can get data from radio, you can send data from radio, but it doesn't mention getting data or sending data from an SD card, but you actually can do that. Um, I'm not sure if it gets you the whole thing. There is one here called, we go to PC, USB drive, double icon 52. Uh, go to the file called setting. We can double click settings. And this is the one where it might go into error, but I'm still going to do it because 
The problem with this file is yeah, you have to identify different columns. And I'm, I'm new to this software, so I'm just going to go channel number for now. Go next, finish. And look, more channels were affected. And it does bring in some stuff. Look, you go to DR memories and call channels. It does bring in things. So what I'm saying is that you can use an SD card. It's not the way that's probably recommended. And even RT systems have decided not to go that way because it's so simple to get it from the radio. Um, but I thought I'd point out that you can use it. I noticed that it even shows you the, um, the CSV file as well. Go file, again, import. This time let's go to start again. Uh, where was it? CSV and look, repeater list. And you've got your repeater list there as well. Next. Next, next, you have to select something here. If I just put ignore, see what happens. No, you have to put something. Channel. And yeah, it says that more channels than, than are available. So let me know what you think. Just playing around with the SD card RT systems and an Icon 52. 7.3, all the best.